everyone, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. I have another mini album I want to share with you. This was created using the new Authentic Genuine collection. Um, this paper is darling. I used the 6x6 paper pad. It's all navy blues and golds and it kind of reminds me of denim anyway with kind of an elegant twist to it. So on the front cover what I did is I added a piece of this lace trim that I, um, it was white and I used some Lindy Stamp Gang in scintillating silver. And then I went over the top of that with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Black Magic. Kind of made it a silvery color, so I thought it was kind of pretty, kind of a gray. I have some um, bling brads right here, and I went ahead and clipped the backs of them off and just adhered them with some glossy accents to the front cover. This chipboard swirl is from Bow Bunny, and um, I had some little punch flowers here that I layered on top of some petal loop flowers. And for the centers, I added some uh, stickles in Vintage Photo. I have some Recollection Spling here and here. I have a Tim Holtz a Dodge ticket right here. And then this is a little flower that I just punched out of one of the papers and put it on some um, pop dots. And then I made a little photo corner out of some Bow Bunny double dot paper and put some little um, stickles on the corners right there. So on the spine... Um, I have some seam binding that I dyed with some Lindy Stamp Gang. This is the California Poppy, and this is a scintillating silver. So that's the spine, and here is the back. I used the striped paper on the back. So you open it up, and on the inside front cover, I have some more flowers that I, oh, I also sprayed the cover here. After I got it decorated, I sprayed it all with some Lindy Stamp Gang and scintillating silver, so it's real shimmery. On the inside, I made a little pocket here on the front. My flowers, again, um, this one's a Recollections flower, but these two are from um, Petaloo. And I sprayed them with Lindy Stamp Gang and Scintillating Silver. And I put some stickles in Vintage Photo in the center. And this is another little bow bunny swirl that I sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, on my pocket, I created a little fold out here. I added another one of those little brads that I just snipped the back of it off and... Um, glued it on with glossy accents. It's a little trifold. It's got a magnet closure on it. So I have um, a little spot for three photos right here and then two more photos on the front, on the back. So let's go right there. And on this page I have another little flower. This is a Recollections flower with another little swirl. I made a little pocket here in the front. Um, this little paper here um, is from Little Yellow Bicycle but I thought it kind of matched the paper and I thought it was pretty cute with some Bow Bunny double dot paper on the back. I have a nice photo mat here. And this is the Bow Bunny um, graph paper here on the back as well. And then all of my photo mats are using the Bow Bunny graph paper um, and then the design papers on top of that. And I use my corner chomper with the ticket stub for the back. And I inked my edges with um, a couple of different colors. I did use uh, Weathered Wood on the white and then I also used the uh, gathered twigs on some of it as well. So let's go back in there and you flip it over. I, again, I have another little bow bunny swirl here and I have a little uh, clear button that I tied some little twine in. I made a little photo mat here. On this page, this is actually a frame from that same bow bunny chipboard collection. And I left it open so I can put the photo in and there's a little pull tag here with the bow bunny double dot paper. Another recollections flower here. And here's my photo mat for this one. I love the stripe. It's really pretty. kind of looks like denim, like jeans. I thought it was kind of cute. So that goes back in there. And um, my pages are all just created out of some um, solid white cardstock. I made my own pocket pages. So Over here I have another little flip up. And I um, just layered on some solid paper. I love the butterflies with this notebook paper. It's really pretty. I just punched out a little flower and added it up to the top and then it's plain on the inside for a couple of photos. On this side I made a little belly band and I used um, a decorative punch here and it's actually a Stampin' Up! punch that was, um, I was at a crop and I borrowed some of these little punch there to punch that on there. And on the inside I have another little booklet. This is a punch from EK Success. I punched that out and added that to the front and placed for little photos on the inside. And then I made a little photo corner here, and I punched out two little flowers out of the design paper and put a little bling in the middle. I layered, popped those up on some pop dots. Again, here's my photo mat for this one. Again, love that butterfly paper, it's so pretty. 
Over here, I have another little pocket page that I edge punched again. I added some little bling and another little flower from Recollections, and I just have a plain little photo mat in here. Over here, I added some uh, twine. Actually, I think it's some embroidery floss. Um, it's from the So Easy pack of thread. Um, and I just wrapped it around and tied a little bow here, and then I clipped, used a little paper clip and clipped this little photo mat here to this. That just goes back in there, and here's my photo map for this one. Looks like the back pocket with some little faux stitching there. It's darling. And over here, this is um, a pre cut little die cut that I got at my local scrapbook store. I thought it was cute, it kind of matched the paper. It says admit one, and I just um, glued it down on um, the one side here, made a little pocket, and then I made three little tags with some. Um, and added some seam binding that I dyed with the um, California poppy. Over here I have another chipboard piece from the Bow Bunny chipboard collection that I got. And then I just made a little uh, flag here and I used an extra large eyelet and put it in there. And here is my photo mat for this one. Love the little stars, it's so cute. Over here, I have uh, another little pocket that I created on the side here. I made a little tag. I punched out some flowers and added a little bling. And then this little um, seam binding was dyed with uh, a moon shadow mist called Gossamer Gold. It's beautiful. I love that color. Again, I have a little frame here from the Bow Bunny chipboard, and I made a little tag that goes inside. And again, this bicycle paper and this paper right here was actually from Little Yellow Bicycle, but I thought it matched pretty well. So that's open for it to slide the photo in, and then a little tag right there. Here's the photo map for this one. I love that little chevron. Looks like a quilt. And on the last page, flip it over. I made a little waterfall booklet here. I did um, add some more chipboard swirls, and I put some glossy accents on top of them. This is some Bow Bunny double dot paper, and I have a recollection flower here. So it just flips up like this for three little photos. And on the back inside cover, I have another one of those little um, die cuts. It says admit one of the tickets. I have another little um, petaloo flower that I glimmer or I sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang and Scintillating Silver and added the little um, bling brad. And then I made two more little tags here and I used these shimmer eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers out of the um, Bow Bunny graph like paper. So that's the back inside cover. So that's my little mini album that I created using the new Authentic Genuine paper pad. It's gorgeous paper. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's darling. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.